Yeah, it's dark here today for Monday, February 24th, goes to all you flat earth fools. Okay, anybody in here believe that the earth is flat? Anybody? No. Good, yeah. good. Uh, all, all you flat earth fools have blood on your hands today because of what happened to a daredevil by the name of Mad Mike Hughes. Now, sadly, Mad Mike Hughes is a flat earther. All right, the only reason flat earthers exist because now it's like some exclusive club to be in. All right, to be a flat earth fool makes you different. Okay, for the record, uh, I usually refer to them as flat earth niggas, but I'm really trying to fall back on using the N-word. And I want to be able to call flat earthers something that everyone can use. So flat earth fool it is. All right, see, flat earth fools don't give a damn about what NASA is talking about. They don't give a damn about what, you know, uh, uh, astrophysicists, Physi what's, what's the word? Physicist. There you go. Are talking about, uh, forget all the photographic evidence that we've seen. Never mind the sun and moon and other planets. We see that around the earth is flat. <laughs> Okay, according to them. Now, I'm not even going to sit here and say flat earthers are wrong. All I'm saying is based off all the evidence that we've seen that show us the earth is round, I'm going to need more than uh, Kyrie Irving, B.O.B., and YouTube videos telling me that the earth is flat in order to believe that, okay? One question for all you flat earth fools. What would be the reason for anyone to lie to us about the earth being flat? Why? What would be the point? Would it make a difference if you were living the way you were living right now? If the world was the same way as it is now, if you could just walk to Starbucks in the morning, to Chick Fil A, or wherever you're going, would you care if it was flat around? Of course you wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. You wouldn't care. So why would Big Bad NASA and every other space program in the world all collectively lie to us about the world being round? What would be the point? Anyway, Mad Mike Hughes is a man who had a desire to prove that the planet is indeed shaped like a frisbee. And he's made a lot of homemade rockets. In fact, he made so many homemade rockets that he was scheduled to debut later this year on Discovery Inc.'s Science Channel in a TV show. Okay, In a statement last year, Discovery Inc. described the forthcoming show that Mike would be on as a look at three self-financed teams with sky-high dreams in their cosmic quest to explore the final frontier on a shoestring budget. Mad Mike wanted to do things like raise money to launch himself to the border of space on a vehicle described as part rocket, part balloon. Mike wanted to reach 5,000 feet into the sky aboard a steam-powered rocket. Somebody has listened to Elton John's Rocket Man one too many times and read one too many Rocket Man and Rocket Girl comic books, okay? Take that and add to it the fact that he wanted to prove the Earth was shaped like a Frisbee and add into the fact that all you flat Earth fools who sit around arguing with folks about whether the Earth is flat or round know damn well it's just the weed making you feel this way. Put all that together and you all are responsible for what happened to Mad Mike Hughes. Would you like to hear what happened to Mad Mike Hughes? Yes. Let's go to W. K, no, not W. KCRANBC3 for the report, please. A man skeptical that the world is round died after launching himself into the sky with a home built rocket. The moment of takeoff was caught on camera. We do have to warn you, the video is pretty hard to watch. The man here who went by Mad Mike Hughes set this up in the desert Saturday afternoon. The 64 year old was killed when the mm. rocket plunged back to the ground. You can see a lot of people around this launch. They're filming, witnessing this. This is not the first time Hughes trying to determine if the Earth is round by launching himself into the air. Back in 2018, Hughes propelled into the sky with a parachute in the Mojave Desert and injured his back that time. He's dead. He's dead. This is all you flat earth fools fault because nobody stopped him. All right, if he's making homemade rockets, for, for the sake of just making homemade rockets, fine. But if he's making homemade rockets to prove the Earth is flat, this is every single one of you flat Earth fools' fault. See, when you are part of a group, it's easier, you know, uh, you know, to believe things. Being part of a group makes you feel a slightly better connection to things, okay? I promise you, Mad Mike would still be alive today if he had nobody else to believe in this foolishness with him, okay? Flat Earthers are only a thing because y'all make it a thing. It's like people who think Tupac is still alive. Matter of fact, I take that back because there's more evidence that Tupac could be alive than it is the Earth is flat. All right. In fact, if you believe Pac is alive, I might can understand why. Okay. I can understand why you feel that way. But the Earth being flat, no. You have no evidence to back that up. But your belief in a flat Earth is the reason Mad Mike Hughes is no longer with us. How many flat Earth is going to be at his funeral, huh? Huh? Please give all these flat Earth fools the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the donkey. Of the day, Ooh, you are the donkey. Of the day, he Just shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Don't say it. 
No, say nothing. Okay. I see you over there, your little fingers are just typing on that damn computer. Nope. Don't say nothing. Nope. I'm what not did he Google, Drum? I didn't Google Drum. anything. What did he, I know. Why are you closing <laughs> your laptop? What, what I did Google. you Google? Nothing. None of your I know business. you got I, I, Just I, don't say nothing. I'm not. Okay. All right. What happened? Nothing. Thank you for that donkey today, sir. Mm-hmm.